Hello and welcome to another HK flight review video. Doing something different today as I'm doing my first ever lounge review. Once again, I'm in Hong Kong Airport. Today I'm traveling on Emirates Business Class, which allows me access to the Emirates Lounge and Qantas Lounge. For those who might be wondering, Emirates and Qantas are partners, which is why the Qantas Lounge is also accessible. Before we continue, I would like to clarify that this video was filmed before the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak. During these tough and uncertain times, please stay safe and do not travel if it's not essential. Now let's continue on to the video. Let's start off with the Qantas Hong Kong Lounge. It is located right next to the customs area and you should be able to find it straight after the security checks. First impressions of the lounge, very modern. You also have a good view over the apron. There's plenty of seats in the Qantas lounge which is one of their best assets. Power sockets are also provided. There's also a bar which is a lovely touch to the lounge. Moving on, let's see what food they have to offer. Overall, it was a decent choice of hot and cold foods. Both Asian and Western foods are available. It is a must to try their cheesecake. It was absolutely delicious. Plenty of beverages to choose from. There's white and red wine, champagne, soft drinks, and juice. And here's some crisps and biscuits to go with your drink. Here are some pictures of the lounge, which you can find on my Instagram at iFlyEconomy. Feel free to follow. Overall, it was a pleasant experience at the Qantas Lounge. The lounge was opened 6 years ago but still feels brand new. Its design is what I like the most. Modern, stylish and added with the bright lighting makes it a classy lounge. For the food and drinks it was pretty decent as well. A variety to choose from and quite tasty. Last but not least with facilities such as the bar and shower room makes it a solid 9 out of 10 lounge experience. Qantas lounge done, now let's head to the Emirates lounge. The Emirates lounge is around a 10 minute walk from the Qantas lounge. It is located above gate 40 and it is right next to the Plaza Premium and Thai Airways lounge. Walking into the lounge, it feels a bit old-fashioned, compared to Qantas at least. I find the lounge a bit smaller than the last one, and fewer seats. To be honest, there wasn't much to talk about other than the food and drinks, so let's just jump straight into it. Here we have mushroom soup. For hot options, you have grilled salmon, sweet and sour pork, aubergine curry, vegetables, pasta, 
rice, more rice, and potatoes. On the side of the table, there's Emirates Arabic dates, a jar of cookies, and many tea bags to make you not fall asleep on your flight. For cold options, there's fruit and cheese platter, pie, and here I got diabetes, I mean panna cotta. Last but not least, seems like Emirates wants to get their passengers drunk. It is an alcoholics paradise here. To sum up my Emirates lounge experience, it was okay. Food was pretty good but nothing much else to talk about really. The lounge designs feels old fashioned and downgrades the whole experience for me. Overall the EK lounge gets a 6.5 out of 10. As I bought my flight, let me do a final conclusion. If you're traveling from Hong Kong on Emirates Business Class or First Class, then I highly recommend you to go to the Qantas Lounge instead of the Emirates one. It is a great place to spend a few hours with good food and drinks as well as shower rooms and power sockets. If you find this video helpful, then please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and stay safe.